Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial series on how to make a simple RPG in Blender. And as you can see right here, I've got a couple of things laid out for what I want to do. The first is simple player movement, and the player is going to be able to move when they're, t when they're not talking, but when the player enters a conversation, we're going to deactivate movement. Um, when the player is near an NPC without talking to them, an interact shine will show up. Then there's going to be dialogue that the player can click through, so we're going to have like a space bar key or something that every time we tap it, it's going to go on to the next line of dialogue. Then when the player is done with the dumb, when the player is done with the conversation, so when the NPC has reached their last line, we're going to um, essentially resume the game. All right, I'm going, I'm going to get started. So to start off, what we want to do is do file and save, and you're going to save this. So let's save this as something like to I made an RPG folder. So what I'm going to do is save this as RPG game or something like that and hit save. And I've got that folder right here so you can see RPG game. And what I'm going to do is full screen this and we're going to create our lines of dialogue right now. So I'm going to right click, hit new, and let's do text. And you have to make sure this is in the same file as your Blender file or folder. I'll call this dialogue like this. I double click on it. And just to make it easier, because it reads on a line by line basis and it starts off with line 0 we're gonna have four lines of dialogue but it's gonna read as 0, 1, 2, 3 in the code and then when we reach line 4 which should really be the fifth line of dialogue we're gonna deactivate the line of um... Well, we're gonna deactivate the um... the script or the dialogue options so this first one we'll put hello and then a line 2 we'll put something like how are you and um... Are you going there today? Just make something very simple. Um, then this last one can be something like, all right, please come again. So implying that we were talking to somebody like, um, like a merchant or something. So here's our lines of dialogue. I'll hit file and save. And all right. I'll now go back into my game file. And what we're going to do right now is create a simple movement thing. So I'm going to right click on this uh, light, hit X delete, and on this camera, and hit X delete. And let's right click on this cube right here, and let's rename this cube as player. So I'm going to rename it as player like this. Click right here, and let's just put it as an actor like this. And what we're going to do is add an always sensor, and connect this to a Python controller. And let's add two keyboard sensors like this. This first one will be called forward. And let's have the W key. This next keyboard sensor will be backward. And let's have the negative, or not not negative, uh, let's have the S key. I was going to put negative W key, but that's not a real thing. Alright, so let's connect these like this. And let's add a property. This game property will be a boolean. And let's call this boolean active. So when the player is active, which we're going to select this right here to make it true, we're gonna, the player is going to have the ability to move around. And if it's not active, what's going to happen is the player is going to be entered into a dialogue conversation. So let's do templates, Python, and then game logic simple. And let's drag this out. And let's delete the portion I've highlighted right here. And hit control and scroll up to make your text more larger. And I'll call this player movements.py. And let's add this right here. Okay. Now that we have this, let's define our um, forward and backward. So forward is going to equal controller.sensors forward. Backward is going to equal controller.sensors backward. And what we're going to do is have if own active is equal to true. So if the player is active so they can move around, we're going to have if forward.positive own.apply movements. And let's have 0, 1, 0, like this, comma true. And this will be this will uh, that true at the end stands for local movement, so it's going to move locally according to the player's rotation. And if backward dot positive own dot apply movements zero comma negative one comma zero and local again, so let's have true. So what happens right here is if we drag this out and hit P, we should be able to move back and forward like this. It's a bit fast though, so I might change that down. I'll just do times 0.25 to make it a lot lower. So we should be able to see we can move the player more reasonably like this. 
And if we um, click this to make it false, we can see we can't move like this. That's what we want. All right. Next, what we're going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to create um, two new scenes. This first one I'll call the interact scene. And the interact scene, I'm going to hit 7 to go in the top view. Um, I'm going to add a camera, and I'm going to have an interact sign. So when the sign is displayed, it means an NPC can be interacted with. So let's do spacebar add text. I'll drag this down here. Hit the tab key to go into edit mode and type out interact. Hit the tab key to go back into object mode. Do alt and C and convert to mesh. And now that we've converted this to a mesh, let's apply a material to it. I'll actually select Blender game right here. Let's apply a new material to it. So the materials tab right here. And let's make this a red material. All right, so we can now see it says interact. And I'll actually call this scene right here. All right, hit the plus sign again and hit new. And what we're gonna do is call this dialogue scene. Hit seven to go on the top view and do spacebar and then add a, um, what's this called? A camera. All right, drag this camera up and hit zero to go into our camera view and do spacebar and then add a text object. And what's going to happen with this text object is we're just going to have it um, be in one corner. I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to rename it as dialogue like this. And this is going to be where we're going to display the subtitles for a conversation. All right, let's go back into our main game view. And what we're going to do is right click on your player, do object snap and then cursor to selected, and do space bar and then add a cube. This new cube that we're going to add is going to be our NPC object. So let's rename it as NPC like this. Add an always sensor on it. And let's add a, um, a near sensor. I'll call this near all lowercase. And let's put near the property player within a distance of five. All right, minimize this. And connect this to a Python controller and connect it like this. All right, what we are now going to do is on our NPC. Let's right click on our player now, sorry, and add the property player since we need that for our near sensor. And make sure the player is an actor like this. Right click on your NPC and make it an actor as well. And what we're going to do is create our NPC scripts. So, hold on. I need to find the game logic simple really quick. Do templates Python and then game logic simple. And what we're going to do is delete the portion I've highlighted right here and hit control and scroll up to make your text larger and rename this as npc.py. All right. Let's add this on our NPC or let's add the NPC script onto our um, NPC and let's define our near sensor. So let's have near is going to equal controller.sensors near. All right. Just let me check one second. All right, I wanted to make sure it was actually recording. I didn't want to be um, doing this long video and not have it record. All right, let's now add two different scene actuators. Um, scene like this. And this first one I'll call Add Interact. And this next one I'm going to call Remove Interact. And these may be weird names, but what's going to happen is we're going to be adding two overlay scenes of our Interact scene. And then we're going to remove the interact scene on the remove interact one. Okay. Connect these both to your Python controller for your NPC. And what we're going to do is down here, let's do add interact is going to equal controller.actuators. Add interact. Remove interact is going to equal controller.actuators. Remove interact. So now what's going to happen is we're going to need to define the player. So let's do scene is going to equal bg.logic.getCurrents scene. And let's do player is going to equal scene.objects player. So if the player is not entered into a dialogue conversation yet, and we're close. So if player active is equal to true, so if the player is still moving around, not doing anything, 
And if near.positive, what we're going to do is constant activates add interact. And if it's else, we're going to do constant activates remove interact. So we should see now that if we hit P and move towards this new cube, the interact sign will come up if we're close, and if we move back, it'll disappear. All right, this will be the end of part one of my How to Make an RPG series. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll continue with part two right now.